gotten a little bit overboard when this Whitney Simmons by Gymshark collection came out so I am gonna show you guys what I got and I'm gonna try it on for you guys and we're gonna see if this is curvy girl approved material all right let's get into it Huge shout out to our sponsor shop tiger i have been using shop tiger for a while now i am more of a desktop shopper i will stock them on mobile and then attack on desktop that's the strategy here i'm going to actually show you guys how you're able to download the shop tagger extension now so i'm just showing you guys i already had it but i had to remove it and then reinstall it to show you guys i've been using this and ain't just you know random here okay i use it you're gonna go to the shop tagger website and you're going to just click on the little widget there it's super simple it's easy to download this is on google chrome you get like a little widget so for example here on asos you see that little widget right there on the right hand corner let's look for something bam i found this hoodie i like the hoodie but do i really want to buy this hoodie right now I'm not sure. What I do is I click on the sizing. I pick it. I look at it. I scope it out. I find. Do I need this? Yes, I do. So then once you have that, you just add it on there, click save, and it saves it automatically onto your shop tagger list. You're going to get notifications. You do have a mobile app, so you can get those mobile notifications as well. So for example, this is an email that I got about these shoes that I've been stocking on Adidas. I check them out. Are they in my size? Yes, they're in my size. I'm going to click on it, and then I could just check out and buy the shoes that are now back in stock. You can see and organize your list here on Shop Tagger. I just have a massive list. I have all kinds of random stuff that I'm like keeping an eye out for, tripods, lenses, random Nike clothing as usual, nothing out of the ordinary. And then you can just track it. That they now have this little thing where you can get coupon codes. So for example, Alani Nude did this like BOGO sale that I missed out on. <laughs> pissed by the way but anyways we're not going to talk about that i still want this pre-workout because i want to try their pre-workouts okay i've heard good things but i don't want to pay full price for this so shop tagger actually has this thing where boom it tells me that there's coupon codes and it's going to search the web for coupon codes for me and add it to my order if they apply and then boom i just got ten dollars off but this is how i usually like to shop i think it's cool make sure you guys download it i will link the link in the description box down below for you guys let's get into the video <laughs> talk about are the Whitney leggings. These really reminded me of the Lululemon Align leggings. They a size large. They were retail for $50. I do like how soft the material is. I do like that it feels kind of like a Lululemon Align. I'm 5'5 and I did have a little bit of extra material. If you're my height, you can kind of see where exactly these leggings are going to hit. The one thing that I did not like about these leggings at all is waistband on these for people who have fupas, if you have a fupa, these ain't for you, okay? It kind of feels like you're not wearing anything, but I can't stand the waistband on this legging. Something about these waistbands. I've never been a huge fan of Gymshark waistbands. Blue Lemon Align leggings, even though they're very thin, very lightweight, and they feel like you have nothing on, there's something about their waistband that makes it still feel like I have a very light held-in sensation. But a few pros of this legging are that it doesn't have a seam in the middle, they don't have any camel toe. These were, in my opinion, 100% squat proof, which is crazy to me because Gymshark leggings, notoriously for me, have always been sheer for me for some reason, but these were 100% squat proof, so good job on Gymshark for that. And I was wearing bright yellow, orange, white writing underwear underneath these leggings, and you can't tell anything which is crazy. So if you're looking for something more lightweight, you don't really care about the FUPA situation, you like this waistband, I would highly recommend this style. Now again, I know this is limited edition. You'll probably have to find it off someone who's either reselling it. I don't know if they'll come out with this again, or maybe they have something similar. If the waistband was different on these leggings, they would be a keeper for me. Unfortunately, they just didn't really quite work for me. Okay, so the next thing that we have is the Whitney Simmons. It's the crop top. I got it in black and it does have, like she said, there's like extra little material so it's not like super super fitted. It's $40. I got in a size large and I just didn't feel comfortable wearing this. Even though it's a size large, I felt like I probably could have gone with an extra large and it would have been a little bit more loose. This is a very fitted crop top. So if this is not your jam in the gym, I would steer away from this one. Personally, I just don't feel comfortable wearing this kind of stuff to the gym. I feel like it attracts too much attention. I do feel like it's very snug. I probably could have gone with an extra large and would have been fine. It would have been a little bit more loose fitting, which I personally, that's been my style. This isn't really anything unique in the Gymshark line. I have tried other crop tops from like the Nikki Blackadder by Gymshark collection that were very similar. The material is a little bit different, but the style is pretty much the same. It's not really anything unique. 
unique about it. It's just another crop top. I don't know, for 40 bucks, eh, I would say you didn't really miss too much if you didn't get this one. Okay, so the next thing that I'm actually really, really happy about are these joggers. I got them in a size large. They retail for $50. This by far was the best part of the collection. And if you're gonna get anything, I would highly recommend these. These are really nice joggers. I love the way they fit. I'm honestly really shocked and surprised. Quality is decent. It's really nice for 50 bucks. The fit is really nice. Looser in the hip area comes in and it's like tapered right at the ankle. You don't look crazy and it doesn't look baggy at the bottom. And I feel super comfortable in these. The fupa is protected, it's hidden. Now I have a large in these joggers, but I probably could have easily gone with a medium in these if I wanted like a more fitted look. Now the zippers kind of feel like they are a bit on the cheaper end. For $50, you kind of get what you pay for. I haven't washed these joggers and I haven't worn them like out extensively to know if there's gonna be like pilling and stuff. If your thighs rub against each other, this is gonna be a problem I think regardless of whatever brand, whatever style, whatever material, unless it's like, I don't know, that swishy material. Keep that in mind. This waistband is going to look cute with crop tops, things like that. Anything else, I feel like it's going to look a little bit crazy because they are very high-waisted. It has like a paper bag kind of waistband that is pretty thick, you know what I'm saying? So if you're trying to put things over it, you may look a little weird in the midsection. But again, if you have any crop tops, anything like that, or the other Whitney crop top items, they fit very well with these joggers. Now for the Whitney Simmons reversible jacket. It's like the Sherpa material or something like that. I think I'm saying that right. I really didn't know what to expect with this jacket. I got in a large, $70, which is probably one of the most expensive pieces in this collection but still pretty reasonable and honestly I have really mixed feelings about this bomber jacket because I feel like I don't think it's worth $70 quality wise it just felt a little bit too low end for me like I could have purchased this somewhere else for cheaper like maybe $50 the Sherpa material I didn't like it it wasn't like a soft Sherpa material I felt like it was a very itchy rough Sherpa material and maybe I don't know maybe I haven't felt enough Sherpa Bitch. It wasn't something in the collection where I was like, wow, this is really nice. This is cute. I'm feeling this. It was just kind of like, oh, okay, this is cute. And it's nice that it's reversible. But personally for me, I don't know if this is too much of a keeper. I just personally feel like the zippers just feel a little bit too low budget for me. And to me, that's kind of like the make or break. That's where I'm able to see where the brand is actually cutting corners. And I'm not trying to say they're cutting corners, okay? Don't come at me. I'm super picky and stuff. And especially if I'm buying things and I'm paying money for them, I want them to meet the standards that I personally feel like would be worth $70 worth, if that makes sense. Let's move on to some other items. Now, these shorts, they're a large, they're $40, and personally for me, I did not like these. Again, that waistband. Maybe if I didn't have that fupa situation, I would feel different, but it's basically the same thing as a Whitney legging, except cut to be short. Personally, when I did try these on, I'm like, okay, these wouldn't be too bad for like every day, maybe cleaning around the house. If I don't feel good in what I'm wearing, I'm not going to feel comfortable doing the workout. And that's just me personally. I didn't like these. The pros of this are they're absolutely squat proof. They're not sheer whatsoever. And I had the same undergarments on, bright yellow, bright orange. You can't see a daggone thing. Very soft, very lightweight, not thick at all. But I've tried other shorts from like Old Navy and I felt like those fit me a little better in terms of like what my expectations are for the fit and what I personally like. If you don't have any type of situations where your midsection is your like problem area, then you probably will absolutely love these leggings. The price, the quality, they're not bad. But for me personally, that waistband area is like my number one concern. Make sure that I like it. If I don't, well then it's gotta go. It ain't, it ain't for me. Next thing is going to be the Gymshark tank top. This is in that hot fire pink. I will say that it is a really nice pink. I really did like that color. It's kind of like that, like a dark magenta slash bright, like somewhere in between that I got it in a size large it's $30 very light material I didn't like this fit it just doesn't fit well for my body type I just feel like these little boxy tank tops make me look even boxier and make me look wider at the top like they make my arms super huge and they're already big already because I hold a lot of fat in my arms again these are a large and I just feel like I probably could have gotten an extra large and maybe the extra large would have fit a little bit better the quality isn't bad the details are really nice but just for me personally if it doesn't fit me well if it doesn't look good on me um or if I don't feel comfortable I just I don't know it's just it, it's okay there's absolutely nothing wrong with the material I think it's pretty decent athletic wear material. $30 is a little bit pushing it for this. Getting to the margins of like Nike. I have some Nike tops that feel like that similar material. I don't know. I feel like this is more for people whose arms are like slimmer. Girls who have a little bit more on their bodies 
I feel like this particular top isn't really going to suit that body type. Personal preference, everybody's gonna be different. I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to give the video a huge thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, turn on your post notifications. Don't forget to download Shop Tagger. Good and a bad thing, you know what I'm saying? Because it does remind you about all those things that you put on your wish list. And yeah.